So um, if you would uh, take a, a look at uh, some statistics with me uh, on this issue. 21% of women who fracture a hip will die within one year. Uh, as many women in the U.S. will die each year from a hip fracture as the number who will die of breast cancer. Uh, those are pretty uh, shocking statistics uh, and speaks to the magnitude of uh, the problem of osteoporosis. mineral density is not the same as bone strength. Uh, bone mineral density is not the same as bone strength. What do I mean by that? Well, if we illustrate that by thinking about a very hard substance like glass, and we take a piece of glass, uh, which is very hard and very dense, uh, and we try to bend it or flex it, that glass will break uh, and, and, uh, uh, and shatter. But if we take another hard substance, like let's say wood, uh, wood is very hard. It's just not as dense as glass, but still very hard. Um, you know, wood will flex and bend. We've all seen trees that bend over in the wind without breaking. Uh, we may have seen a, a construction worker uh, at a building pouring a, a driveway or a, con a, a sidewalk that curves and they will take their wood forms and, and curve them in the shape uh, that they want the, to pour the concrete. Uh, so we know that we can, you know, take pieces of wood and, and they will bend and flex uh, and, and not break. And that's, that's what we want with our bones. Our bones need to be able to flex. They need to be elastic. Uh, they need to be uh, able to bend a little. We don't want to break a bone every time we accidentally bump into a piece of furniture. Uh, we don't want to break a bone every time we accidentally stumble and fall. So uh, the bones need to be, uh, there's another component besides uh, bone density here, and, and that is uh, bone strength. Um, you know, we were always told and led to believe that calcium was the savior uh, of our bones. Uh, if we just uh, had sufficient amounts of calcium, our bones would be strong. And if we didn't have uh, enough, uh, you know, if our bones did become weak for some reason, all we needed to do was take a calcium supplement or uh, drink more milk. And, and that was uh, all that needed to be done. Well, um, you know, that has changed. The research has uh, showed us something different. Calcium isn't the uh, magic bullet that we once thought that it was. Look at these uh, pieces of information that came out of some research. Uh, a 2012 study showed that there were no benefits with calcium supplementation but there was a 140 increased risk for heart attack over an 11 year period. Uh, that's shocking, you know, because I remember I used to recommend calcium supplements all the time. I haven't for a long time, but there was a day when I did based on the information that we had. Um, another study showed that calcium supplementation increases the risk of heart attack, stroke and death of, uh, from all causes. So there again, uh, not a good thing to be taking calcium, uh, calcium supplements. Uh, a couple of more um, study uh, results, uh, calcium supplements increase the risk of heart attack by 24 to 27%. This study showed that it increased heart attacks by 86%. Uh, another uh, showed that calcium intake is not related to hip fracture risk at all. So it uh, does nothing. And then uh, finally, we figured out that obtaining calcium from foods uh, doesn't cause those other risks. And that's what we need to be doing is getting our calcium from food sources instead of uh, pill sources. So the question is, should calcium supplements be recommended? I think in light of the information that we have presently, uh, they should not. There may be some uh, isolated cases where an individual needs that. But, um, you know, we'll talk about that uh, in a moment.